Wow. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my previous video, which was the the three-way donuts. So Nutella, Biscoff, and Raspberry Jam. If you haven't checked that out, it's pretty good. So for all you American folk or anyone who's not British, if you don't understand what a chip butty is, it's very simple. Two bits of white bread, buttered, really thick cut chips, and lastly, ketchup. It's good. Very dry though. But overall, pretty decent for oven chips. Quite nice. Let me get something straight. Lays are crisps, not chips. Chips are the thick cut potato fries. Fries are thin potatoes which are fried, naturally. And in England, we call, like lays, for example, we call crisps. That's the proper English for it. And no, no questions about that. That is the way it is. The upgraded chip butty is gonna be awesome. The chips are gonna be double fried, which gives it an extra crunch. I'm also gonna use a huge sourdough. You can call that a roll, but I mean, or a loaf, but I'm gonna use a whole loaf. I'm also gonna toast the inside of the bread with a garlic butter, and that's gonna melt into the pockets of the bread, which is gonna be so, so juicy. It's also gonna be topped with a premium tomato ketchup with a new brand I'm trying. And if you haven't seen my nacho video, I made a, essentially like a nacho cheese. It's gonna be similar, but it's not gonna be nacho cheese. I'm gonna add Parmesan and mozzarella to make it really, really stringy. I'm gonna add that as well. I'm also gonna add crushed turkey bacon on top. So it's gonna be not a traditional British chip butty. And I know in the comments, you guys are gonna say, that's not chip butty, but it's my take, personal twist to upgrade it to another level. I also absolutely love just a normal chip I eat, but this is just for entertainment purposes and for my own fun. So, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe if you've not, let's go. So first we're gonna make a garlic butter. It's literally simple, just garlic um, granules and butter. We're gonna mix that together and spread that onto a San Francisco loaf. I bought this loaf from a company called Gale's Bakery. They do loads of different kind of bread, but I bought the San Francisco loaf. It's kind of a yogurty, tangy loaf, so that should be quite nice. I'm then gonna blanch some Maris Piper potatoes, and that'll be done for 10 to 20 minutes. Then we'll leave it to dry, and that'll be for 15 minutes. We then wanna fry our first batch of potatoes, and that'll be for 10 minutes at around 140 degrees. And once they're done, we want to rest them for about 10 minutes as well. In the meantime, I'm going to toast the bread with the garlic butter on it. So when you finish toasting the bottom one, you want to do the same with the top one. And then we'll leave it on the side for when we top our whole chip butty. So I got recommended this ketchup. It's uh, Wilkin & Sons Tip Tree. So Tip Tree, the jam company. And my brother recommended this to me and he said it's really, really good actual like particles or little little bits of blended up I guess spices and tomatoes which which makes it actually quite authentic and deluxe as they say 90% of the time I have no idea what the I'm talking about I already know how, what this tastes like though it doesn't taste like Heinz at all no this is very thick double C but it's more of a posh ketchup Although it was only if you want to you spice up your chip bite, that's the way to do it. It wasn't much though. I think this was about one pound fifty. Yeah. Um, and I'm just gonna use it now in my future recipe. So, thanks for it. That's all right. No worries. For the cheese, you need one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of flour, a quarter cup of milk, <laughs> cheddar, parmesan. I'm gonna add some chili powder, pepper, or S&P as I say, salt. 
mozzarella. And we'll give that a whisk. This will give a nice stringiness to it with a bit of heat from the chili. And then we want to put the fries in for another fry. And this will be just to crisp up the outside, but on a high heat of 180 degrees. So once it's looking really crisp and brown on the outside, you want to take it out and then we're going to season it with a load of salt. Alright, so everything's looking good. Let's crack on with assembling. So in with the juicy ketchup and you can hear the garlic butter melting on top as well. It's very nice. Wow, wow, is very nice. The double fried chips. Oh, look at that. They sound amazing. They smell even better. Got the cheese sauce. So what I did is added when I added the mozzarella it got really nice and stringy so then it holds itself in the sandwich you see that string there and it will give it a lot of moisture as well to the sandwich every British person is looking at me like this is not a chip buddy <laughs> I know it's not a chip buddy but my take and my twist on a great British sandwich to make it even cooler. All right, enough for the cheese, turkey bacon, and it's just been crushed up. And you want to add and sprinkle it all over. Try and get it in every corner. Ketchup. You want a generous dollop all over on the second time. The cherry on top of the icing. The last bit of toasted sourdough. And there we have it. There. How about this? Look at it. Look how big it is. Oh my god, and it's like juicy as well. You see the butter coming out on this side, look. Look at the butter and the oil. Alright, I think the only thing left is to give it a nice try. Alright, it's gonna be a big bite. Mmm. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that tomato sauce is amazing. Yeah, it's really nice. Some good stuff. Mmm. This is nice. Put this down. Wow. Alright. There's a nice heat from that um that cheese that I made. And that yeah, has that tomato sauce is honestly 10 out of 10. If you haven't tried it. Tip tree tomato sauce. That bread as well, it's got a really, really nice sourness to it. I think because when I went and bought the bread from the bakery, she said it's got like yogurt in it. It gives it the natural Greek yogurt sour taste. Fries are really, really crispy still, even though they're doused into the cheese. Mmm. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna enjoy this. But again, guys. Thank you for watching this far, if you've stayed this far. And I really appreciate all the feedback everyone has given me for TTFG. If you haven't subscribed already, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next video.